Uh huh. We've got a clinical case, my beloveds. 56 year old postmenopausal woman present with complaints of vaginal dryness, burning, and painful intercourse. No, of course, unfortunately. Yeah. She also reports increased urinary frequency and urgency over the past few months. Physical examination reveals pale, thin vaginal mucosa with decreased elasticity. Which of the following is the most appropriate first-line treatment for her condition? Give me options. Systemic estrogen therapy. No, systemic. Why? Local vaginal estrogen therapy. That is. That is. Broad-spectrum antibiotics. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. No, no, no. no. Local vaginal estrogen therapy is a correct answer. So why are the other options are incorrect? Uh, systemic estrogen therapy. Systemic estrogen is generally reserved for women with moderate to severe vasomotor symptoms like hot flashes, uh, night sweats, and actually highly uh, questionable, uh, doubtful. It exposed the patient to necessary systemic risks, this estrogen ther therapy. With, for example, thromboembolism, endometrial hyperplasia, if not combined with uh, progestin. For isolated genitourinary genito urinary symptoms, and we've got genitourinary urinary symptoms, of course, local therapy is safer and uh, more effective and quite sufficient. Broad spectrum antibiotics. The urinary symptom is genit in genital urinary syndrome of menopause are not due to infection, but due to estrogen deficiency leading to thinning of the mucosa and increased pH. Giving antibiotics would not help no, and maybe, no, I don't like good antibiotics, but anyway, we've got a side effect. So, no, no, correct is uh, local vaginal estrogen therapy. Ah, SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, are used for, for vasomotor symptoms in women who cannot take estrogen, for example, due to, you know, breast cancer or, clo or clotting risk. Uh, they have no benefit these uh, serotonin inhibitors, in interreptic inhibitors for vaginal dryness, dyspareunia, or urinary frequency caused by GSM, genitourinary syndrome. So correct options remain local vaginal estrogen therapy. In the direct, it directly treats the cause, estrogen deficiency in urine genital issues, improves vaginal elasticity, blood flow, lubrication, and urinary symptoms, minimal systemic absorption, fewer risk. Okay, this is opportunity. Opportunities don't happen, you create them. <laughs> That's it. Stay blessed.